Hello and welcome back. Uh, today I'm very excited because we got some packages here. Ziggy was very hard working and was printing a lot of new parts uh, for our Harrier project. So let's see and unbox these packages. Let's go! So let's start with the small box. So let's see what we got. <laughs> Some new duck parts. Oh, very, very nice. Super lightweight, super quality. With this, with this guiding veins here. With this turning veins inside. Oh, this is looking so cool. The real novels, the real ducting. Ah, the inlet ducting. The new nozzles also with the turning veins. Oh! Ziggy's <laughs> big ESC. I think that's all for the first package, okay? So, <laughs> let's see what we got in this. It's like Christmas. So, what do we got here? Ah! Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, this we want to put in, in here. Ah, ah, ah. I have to modify this a little bit. I would say, part one. The canopy itself, the glass. Oh, it's so nice what is possible today, nowadays. I think this is also from... Vertical step, yes. Here we got some uh, stabilizers. Feels good. Here, Ziggy and me had a lot of discussion if this will be stable enough with this 8mm aluminium. Second inlet duct. And the puzzle is going on. This is from the horizontal. I don't know. <laughs> ah, this is quite heavy. Ah, okay. <laughs> is that something from the SVX? Something Ziggy was uh, utilizing. Ah, we can put here. Yeah. Absolutely great. <laughs> so much new parts. It's so amazing. Here we can see the two ducting versions. Right is the old one, left is the new one. And, and here we can see the turning veins inside from the ducting and prevent vortexes. Okay, boys and girls, we have so much new parts. Now I will assemble them on the test stand. So let's go. So I prepared everything for the first test. But what is new with these ductings? At first, we built in these turning veins. At first, we just got them on the nozzles, and now we also got them in the ducting. And for what do we need the turning veins? So here I painted the two versions, here without turning veins, and here with turning veins. So what happened inside the ducting when we don't have these turning veins? Here comes the airflow from the EDF. Yeah, this is quite straight and uh, mostly laminar airflow. And now it has to turn 90 degrees to the side. And what happens? The outer airflow is guided by the wall of the ducting and follows the wall. But uh, the inner airflow is not guided anyway. And so it collides with the outer one and we have a lot of vortexes yeah and this vortex this blocks the airflow inside the ducting yeah this is um, like a small thunderstorm inside here we have the vortexes and the same happens again when we go again 90 degree yeah on the heavier ducting we have two times 90 degree 
changing of the airflow direction. So this is really hard to control. And now we have again much more vortex. And so nearly the whole ducting is full of vortex and that's why we get so much loss of thrust. So, and what can we do? We can put in these, these turning vanes, yeah? these turning vanes, these are just guide vanes with the same shape as the uh, outside of the ducting. Yeah? These are here that we can see them better for turning vanes. And these turning vanes guide the airflow along the change of direction in the ducting. So we avoid these um, vortex. We have nearly, yeah, this is idealized a little bit, uh, but we got nearly a completely laminar airflow along the whole ducting and along. And now let's test this in the reality. So next step is the installation of the EDF. Here we got the 90 mm Schübeler EDF and this should be installed into the Harrier ducting. So let's go! with tape and the next step is removing all that uh, three wheel mechanism from the old one and assemble it on the new one. Let's go! Here these are the rotating rings. We see they have different diameters. This is the, the rear one. It's a little bit smaller. This is the front one. And here we can see the, the bearing mechanism inside, or better see here. Here we can see the ball bearing and they run on this edge here. They run here and when we have air pressure, the whole thing is pressed to the outside and the bearing is pressed to the edge. And so it's absolutely stable and not shaking and we have um, a minimum of power that we need because of this uh, really light running um, barracks. So the, the nozzles are already installed and checked. And the next step is to put it on this wood stand like the first one is already done. And then we can start with the testing. Let's go! This is our first test. The EDF ducting is installed without the nozzles so that we get a thrust just from one turning. Here are no turning vanes installed. I put some straps on it.
second test. This time we got also nozzles installed, so the air is two times turned 90 degrees, one time to the right and one time to the up. Okay, this is really interesting because we have exactly the same thrust out of it, also 3.2 kilogram. So there was no loss, yeah, no second loss on the second turn. So now uh, let's see what happened when we have also the guiding reins inside. So now I install the second EDF, this time this has turning reins inside. This time we got um, 3.9 kilogram out of it. That's a lot more, but we see the straps are not straight vertical. They are also a little bit uh, in this direction. We also got another EDF here. This is a Schibele EDF, 90 millimeter Schibele. Yeah, but nevertheless, um, <laughs> this is quite better. This is uh, 700 gram more. And let's see what happened when we install the new nozzles with the four turning reins. So this time we got nozzles here with four turning reins and also the diameter from the turning reins is a little bit smaller. On the test before there was a jump from the outcome of the ducting. It was like this and the nozzles were a little bit bigger in the diameter and this time the diameter stays the same. Oh. Something falls down. <laughs> It's a little bit windy here inside. This is a, a bit difficult uh, to interpret because the, the, the straps go up absolutely vertical, yeah, absolutely no direction change, but the truss that came out of it was just 3.2 kilogram, so the same like here. So there seems to be a problem with these nozzles. Yeah? So now I want to install the old nozzles with the bigger diameter and see if we got more truss out of it. We got exactly the same, also 3.2 uh, kilogram with the old nozzles. What did we learn from this? These turning reins help um, at the first step. Yeah, we got uh, 0.7 kilogram more out of the ducting, but when the nozzles are installed, we got um, exactly the same so um, yeah, <laughs> this is um, not so easy with this ducting. Yeah. So um, if you have some ideas what we can do, 
then please write it in the comments. And thanks a lot to all the guys who write already in the comments. Uh, like here, uh, we, um, we read this, we love it, and we take a look what we can um, transform into reality from this. Yeah. So we saw that there seems to be something like a thrust boundary at uh, these 3.2 kg. Um, that means that we can give in power and power more, but we don't get much trust out of this ducting. So um, I think let's go the other way. Yeah, we don't use this um, absolutely powerful EDF yeah, with uh, 11 or 12S LiPo. Let's use uh, 8S setup yeah, that brings about um, on the test stand about um, 3.7 at the jet fan and 3.3 on the Vemotech. Yeah, a very good um, 8S setup and let's see what we get out of this setup um, on the Harrier ducting. And so we have three cells less, it's nearly 400 grams of uh, weight. Yeah, and um, let's see if we get a better and more efficient setup with this. On the jet fan, 2.6 kilogram at how many watts at um, 2650 watt maximum amp was um, 93 amps yeah. so um, 2.6 is um, uh, yeah, is a lot of less than uh, on the first test but let's see what is possible with the Vemotech fan. So all tests are done. Let's talk about the results. Um, on the smaller EDFs, the jet fan, we got um, 2.6 kilogram out of the ducting and on the MIDI fan, 2.3 kilogram. I think this is not enough uh, for our project because the, um, the takeoff weight will be about 5.5 um, kilogram of the whole area. So we need more than um, 6.5 kilogram. For that, we just can use the Schübler on 11S or the JP on 12S. Yeah? Um, this was the absolutely maximum of trust this, um, on this test with the old ducting. Yeah, uh, w without these turning veins, we got a uh, 3.5 kilogram. So when we put both ductings together on uh, one battery, I think um, a little bit over six kilogram is possible. So it um, will be absolutely a hard job to um, bring this um, heavier vertical, but I think it's absolutely possible with these ductings. And um, in the next part, we will put them in in the fuselage and we'll do the first testing when they are installed. So, see you in the next video. Bye bye.